How to wear this season's hottest fashion trend without looking frumpy. Spoiler alert, it's not easy. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to tackle one of the hottest fashion trends of the season, the one that I've been most excited to try, the pleated pants. You've seen them, picture after picture, street style shots of women looking super cool in their slouchy oversized pleated pants and their sneakers and their blazers and their bra tops and their tanks and they look amazing. I've been looking at these photos and thinking, where can I get the pleated pants? I actually looked and looked and looked and I finally ordered a couple of different pairs and when they arrived, they were way too long on me, which is one of the issues that we're gonna face. I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible for you, but also keep it super real because there are a lot of issues with these pleated pants. If you are super thin and tall, you have probably very little to worry about. However, those of us who have anything else going on, maybe a little tummy, a little love handle, your petite, any number of things that, you know, create different shapes, it's gonna be a challenge. So let's get in there, let's do this, let's talk about those pleated pants. I'm gonna start with casual and kind of work our way up to dressier. I don't think any of these looks are going to be incredibly dressy. I'm gonna show you kind of how you can dress them up. Personally, I think they look better dressed down. I think that's where the sort of trend lies, but if you wanna dress them up, I wanna give you some options for that as well. Kind of the go-to like summer in the city street chic outfit for your pleated pants would be Number one, with a tank. So simple white rib tank or simple white cotton tank, racer back, you know, shoulders kind of cut in a little bit with some slouchy camel or beige trousers, sneakers or sandals, you're good to go. That's a very cool look. So now let's get into, before we talk about the rest of the looks, let's get into why these pleated pants are tricky. They're tricky because number one, there is no stretch. In the waist, there's no forgiveness whatsoever. It's like it fits or it doesn't fit and it can feel very tight and constricting and you may even get like skin overhang or a little muffin top going because again, no spandex, no stretch, very unforgiving. So that's problem or issue number one. Number two, you're putting pleats on a problem area potentially. So that lower tummy, which is a very common problem area for many women, you're adding volume to it. So if there's anything there that you don't want the whole world to see, it's very difficult to wear pleated trousers with that. And then issue number three, if you wear something kind of oversized with the pants to cover up said problem, problem area here, then you're talking about this sort of oversized voluminous look all over. And that isn't very flattering. It can look very boxy or masculine or just totally swallow you up, especially if you're petite, which is problem number four. If you're petite, these pants are not out enough yet. There's not enough quantity and selection yet to find them in petite lengths. At least I didn't see any that I liked in petite lengths. We will still be on the lookout for that, of course, but in the interim, it probably means tailoring. Another issue is that they're oversized. So if you are petite, and you wear oversized pants, it can be very overwhelming on your smaller frame. All of that to say, this is not one of those Instagram reels where you just boop, 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 and everything falls into place, all right? This was a lot of trial and error. I was so excited to try these pants. Can't even tell you, I was like, oh, I'm gonna rock them, I'm gonna show them how to wear them. I'm so excited, I can't wait to get them, I can't wait to get them back from the tailor. And then I put them on and I was like, Holy sh S word. They're so hard to style. They are not easy. Here are some combinations that I found that I liked, but it was not without lots of like clothes flying and trying and then rolling eyes and making faces and sweating. And I worked hard for this one, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So the second look or the second combination that you can try that is also very casual, also very like summer in the city, cool, cool girl on the street, street style, the t-shirt, just the white tee, the slouchy pants, and this, I love it with the sneakers. I tailored my pants for either a higher sneaker or a lower heel. You could always tailor yours so you wear heels with them. And heels, I think, would elongate the frame, elongate the body, but just depends on what you want to go for. I think 
that the sneaker trouser combo is kind of where the cool factor comes in. So if you are going for that more fashionista or of the moment, cool it thing, whatever word you wanna call it, then I would go with the sneaker trouser combo. So before we move on to the next look, it's worth noting in both of these looks, the tank and the tee, what was going on there with the styling? Well, I tucked it in. I tucked the shirt in, right? The tank was tucked in, the tee was tucked in. So what happens if you have the tummy that you wanna cover, but you need to have that waist definition because if you don't really have any waist definition with these pants, it sort of defeats the whole purpose of the pants. Like you might as well wear just something else. You can try the half tuck, which I've talked about so many times. And we just did a recent video on our most controversial style tips and why we stand behind them. The half tuck is one of them. So you can go back and watch that video after this one if you want to. But yeah, you can do the half tuck, which would give you the forgiveness on the sides, but then create a little waist definition in the front. You can obviously add a waist belt, which would create beautiful waist definition. But if you can't tuck or half tuck or wear a waist belt, what do you do? Well, there are a couple of other solutions. You can wear a top that is cropped. So it's just kind of covering the very top of the waistband of your pants, maybe even a little bit longer. You just don't want it to be super long because then you're kind of cutting into your legs and losing your shape. So it could be a little bit longer than the waistband, maybe two, three inches, but also make sure that that top isn't really oversized and billowy. So like this top, for example, would be too oversized. You want something that's a little more body skimming to give you some shape. Another option, which I've talked about in a previous video, highlighting you know ways that you can hide your tummy, is to go for something that's cropped, you know, maybe a little bit, maybe a little longer than that first top I talked about. So it hangs maybe, you know, sort of like right under the, the belly and then put the crop jacket over it. So then the crop jacket does your waist definition for you. So those are your options if you're worried about the tummy. Now, the perfect segue, because we just talked about the crop blazer, is look number three with the crop blazer. So this is another way to highlight that waistband, create some definition and shape, kind of creates a suit really of sorts. It's just a very non-traditional suit. These beige pants, the crop camel jacket. I do have my top tucked in here, but you can also just leave it out. Again, I would just watch the length of the top underneath. You don't want it to be too, too long. Uh, but the crop jacket does a beautiful job of highlighting a waist, even if there isn't one. It also creates polish and sophistication. So now we're getting into that zone of creating more polish with your pleated pants. So with this look, it could be, you know, casual Friday at the office. It could be to run errands. Maybe you're having lunch. This one also I paired with some Golden Goose sneakers. By the way, I did a full review on Golden Goose sneakers on the blog at spudsbystyle.com. We will put a link to that blog below in the description box, but I will tell you that the Golden Goose sneakers, I think are some of the most comfortable like street style sneakers out there. I love them. It just depends on what you like. You may not like the distressing of the Golden Goose sneakers. And then in that case, you could go for more something a little more sleek, like a white leather sneaker. It doesn't have to be the sort of like beat up lived in look, or you could go for the dad sneaker, whatever you personally like or prefer. The next couple of looks, are tailored for the office. I did do a video, by the way, on summer office outfit ideas. So if you want some summer office outfit inspiration or more summer office outfit inspiration, you can watch that video after this one. We'll put a link below in the description box and up here. But I wanna give you a couple of pleated trouser looks for the office in this video. So the first one is one of my all time favorite lace tops by Waif. If you're a regular viewer, you've seen this one before. You know, Joy on our team has three of them. I have three of them. They're just wonderful, beautiful, lovely tops. And the best part about them is they are a really nice quality, but they're also very affordable. This top comes with a built-in camisole that you can snap and snap out as well. So you don't have to worry about the undergarments. It's just a beautiful, elegant top. That paired with these camel pleated pants, which I thought, by the way, would be easier to style this color. Mm -mm. Beige, beige is easier. 
Finishing off this look, a pair of mules by Malone Soulier, which I have, have had for years. I love them. They're just slip on, slip off, but so like dainty and feminine and pretty and very easy to walk in for heels. They also look great like without pants, like just with dresses and skirts because they're very leg lengthening. Another office outfit idea with the pleated pants is this one with the black tee. Yes, it's a t-shirt. I love a sneaky tee that looks like a pretty blouse. This one is, is a cotton with spandex t-shirt by frame. It looks more like a blouse because of the details, but it's really a t-shirt. It's a v-neck, very flattering. It has some ruching in the middle, ruching on the sleeves. I love that it has sleeves, the three-quarter sleeves. And then the ruching, I mean, remember when I was talking about hiding a tummy, like that kind of detail in this color will cover the tummy, but because the tee is more body skimming, it will still give you shape. And then look at the length of the tee. It's very short and cropped. So again, that will create that waist, but the ruching, when you leave it out, will provide that tummy forgiveness. Now, I just happen to have an old pair of Jimmy Choo heels in my collection. Somewhere, there's somewhere over here, kind of like right right there, that are black and camel that went perfectly with this outfit. I don't expect you to have that in your closet. So you could either wear black heels or you could wear camel or tan or beige, whatever you have in your closet. But I could totally see wearing this to the office. It's very polished, but it feels very, you know, on, it doesn't feel fussy, which I like and appreciate. It's also very comfortable. Again, with these trousers, you've got very little forgiveness in the tummy, so there's that to consider, especially with these types of pants. Pay very close attention to the size chart. Look at the measurements. Take your own measurements. I did a whole video where I showed you how to take your own measurements, so maybe go back and watch that video because it's so important, I think, especially with a piece like this and you wanna save time and money and you don't wanna have to go and order a bunch of pairs and then send them back and then spend all this time combing over the websites. Like, Get the measurements, make a really informed strategic size choice, and then you're gonna save time on the back end. So it's a little more time on the front end, but time saved on the back end. All right, I've got a bonus look for you. Woo! The bonus look is something that I, even I would be like, mm, I'm not sure. I really feel like I'm pushing the envelope with this. So this is the pleated pants with an oversized blazer. It's like volume all over, right? Which is kind of breaking all of the rules. I really dig it but I all, it also intimidates me, and I'm just full disclosure. So it's one of those things where I'd have to try it a couple times, see how I felt, could I get comfortable with it, do I like feel good in it? I'd have to really test it out to let you know, but I'm digging this outfit, this specific outfit. So what I did was I paired an oversized Bosch blazer Bosch is a Parisian line that I happen to absolutely love. With the same camel trousers, some Mark Fisher slide-on sandals that have that really cool trendy chain link detail on the top. And voila, you have this of the moment, cool girl, pleated pant, oversized blazer look. So what do you think? Would you try this? It's pushing it, right? It is. Especially, I feel like for those of you or us, I should say, who are on the petite side because there is a lot of volume happening here. But I think what helps is having that fitted top underneath the oversized blazer and also 100% not closing the blazer, leaving it open so that we can see the waistband of the pants. I also think the heels help a little bit to just lengthen everything and that's sort of making it work as well. None of these were just like the Instagram reel boop boop, 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 you know, where you effortlessly switch between one and the other. And I'm not going to say that any of these are easy to pull off. Like there are all those variables that I talked about before. Very little stretch, the pleating that could potentially add volume, the size of the voluminous size of the pants that could overwhelm a petite frame, the tailoring that might be involved because they run long and you're shorter. So those are the factors to consider. Also make sure you do your measurements so you can make a more informed size choice. I have to read something to you. I read this description online, it just made me laugh. The tailoring piece is the perfect translation of effortless chic and adapts perfectly to different occasions. Like that is a direct quote when you Google pleated trousers. Effortless chic adapts perfectly to different occasions. 
No, it doesn't. There's nothing effortless about these pants. The keys really to getting this trend right, if you want to go here, are to make sure that you highlight the waist in some way. You can do that by tucking a shirt fully in or wearing a bodysuit. You can do the French or half tuck. That'll highlight the waistband and leave some out on the sides and the back, which we've talked about a lot. You can wear a waist belt. That'll add waist definition. You could wear a tee or top with ruching, a wrap front, some sort of waist defining detail that will also provide Tommy forgiveness. Or you can do a shorter hemline top or tee and then do a cropped blazer over that to add that waist definition. You also can play around with the oversized blazer and then have that tighter fitting top underneath as long as you can see the waistband. That will highlight the waist as well. So those are the keys to really nailing this. If you want to try it without looking frumpy, without looking sloppy, without looking like you're trying too hard. I think for those of you who will feel pulled to it like I do, it's worth trying. You just have to play and tweak a little bit, which if you're like me is actually kind of fun to do. But if that is not your jam, then I probably would stay away from these. And you know what else? you could do instead. There are so many other options. Obviously a tailored or tapered pant, a straight leg, a boot cut, a kick flare, a wide leg, a fit and flare. There are tons and tons of choices. You don't have to be in the pleated pant lane if you don't want to. I featured the really cool Alice and Olivia houndstooth fit and flare pants. I love those. I featured the Cinco set straight leg pant with the split hem. I love those. Both of those would be really cool for the office. So there are definitely other options. You don't have to go down this road. What do you think? Are you gonna give them a go? Have you tried them already? Have you found the holy grail pair? Share that in the comments. Have you found a petite pair? Even better. Please share that in the comments as well. You guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page. Tell them about the Busby community and how we're just a bunch of amazing kick butt, 40 plus, empowering, supportive, encouraging, energizing women. Thank you in advance for doing that. One last thing. We are giving out so many incredible freebies, including a summer capsule wardrobe graphic. When you sign up for our email newsletter, the email newsletter goes out once a week, or you can get every single post if you want, but you can choose once a week. And then with that membership, you get access to all of these freebies in this resource library, everything from a hypnosis session to help you feel more confident about your style to the summer capsule wardrobe to fall capsule wardrobe wardrobe basics you name it there it's in there there's so many things you'll love it packing lists ah oh, so good all right you guys thank you so so much for watching thanks for being on the pleated pant journey with me this was fun i'll see you next time bye